Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to add UI to your game screen. I will add a crystal image and text to show the number of crystals being collected by a player game object. With that being said, let's get started. For adding UI to your game, what we need to do is we need to first create a new game object called as canvas. So that will be under UI, then just click on canvas. If I go to the canvas game object, there are certain properties inside an inspector for this particular game object. The one that we need to change is the UI scale mode because we want our UI or canvas to be scaled depending on the resolution or whatever scale is there for the current you know monitor or any screen. Let's select scale with screen size. That's it. Now, if I double click on this, and the scene menu you can see the dimensions for this one now let's do one thing let's create an empty game object and for this click on this for this press alt plus shift and then simply select this particular option this will stretch our empty game objects dimensions uh with the uh, you know to be same as the canvas dimensions as well so just click on this once that's done now, looking on this, if you double click on this, then we can see the same dimensions have been put for our game object. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add one image and one text. Image would be our crystal one and the text would be the counter of how many crystals we are collecting or we have collected. So for that, let's just create a new UI object with image let's just align it towards the top right corner for doing that let's just click on this icon and again press shift plus alt select this option okay now let's just change the image right now it's nothing has been selected let's select our gem to this one as the image we can again requirement let's just reply it till here let's just check over here it's too big right now so let's do one thing let's just resize from this element go back again too big hmm, yeah i think this is fine now is it a bit yep yeah now this looks good. Go back. I increase a little bit more. Now once this is added, let's just move it to the left direction a bit. More. Put in the downwards direction. It's this one. <laughs> uh, don't get confused with the other pistols. But yeah, this is the one. Okay, so now let's just you know run our game and let's see. What happens now you see we have this icon or image constantly on the top now let's do one more thing let's add our text as well so for that let's click on this and ui under ui go to legacy and select text call it score and do the same thing with this with this element just click on this press shift and control and select the top right selection or option once that's done then we can just put zero over here as of now and let's change the font style to bold and let's change it takes to 25 let's select the alignment like this horizontal overflow let's click on overflow vertical overflow like overflow the these two options mean so let's say if your text is greater than the size that we have put over here so in that case if wrap was select or selected then the text would be wrapped up but we don't want that thing we want it to be overflow so that's why we have selected overflow and the same for this option as well now let's select the color as yellow color yeah 
fine now let's move it a bit down let's increase its size click over here this is fine okay yeah all good so now the last thing that we need to do is go to our crystal prefab and go to our tip machines graph so for that just select the prefab from here then click on the script graph let's full screen it now what we need to do is we need to update our text or the score on the screen so for that we need to update the score with plus one every time we so for updating our crystal score we simply need to you know update our text game object with the crystal count value so if you check in our script graph we are already increasing the count of crystal with you know uh, one value or one integer value we just need to show this value on the text that we have just created so now let's create a new scene variable for our text game object for that let's just hit on or go to the scene variable section and let's just create a new one with the name as score it will be of type text and over here let's just select our game object score once that's done now what we need to do is we need to set the value of this score text with whatever value we have set for the crystal count variable so for that uh, we first need to convert our you know value of the crystal count variable from integer to string for that there is one node called as integer to string this one we'll just pass this value now for setting the text value we just need to do this the text over here we'll select our instance of a variable which stores the reference to our score game object we'll pass this and in the value we'll pass this that's it nothing more than that let's just go back save our game now let's just run it so you see now our counter is increasing If you guys learned something new, then I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel so that I can create more videos related to Unity's visual scripting in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.